So the Public Works Department is seeking uh, an exemption from our BZA requirement, in part because you have to be the owner of land to file a BZA application, which means in a public works project, we have to either condemn or purchase that land before we can begin the process of seeking a variance. Right now, if Public Works is seeking to cut down a large tree, they have to get Board of Zoning Appeals approval. Council is considering changing that to require those requests be approved by County Council. And then we move forward with the design, land acquisition, and ultimately construction of the project. More than 7,000 people have signed a petition against the change. Ashley Dane is a local developer who started the petition. To exempt our own government from the process that they decided was important seems um, contrary to what they've been elected to uphold. In the same breath that they're asking for this exemption for county public works, they're actually looking to make the code um, tougher for you and I. County council with five votes out of their board would be able to decide which trees stay and which trees go. And for me, people under, under political pressure shouldn't be making those decisions. And our biggest concern with that is the lack of consideration that we think that Public Works will have in future road projects having this exemption. Honeycutt says she believes this change adds public accountability. Providing this accountability to elected leaders, putting it in their hands, provides a greater level of accountability. Because if a voter doesn't like what that elected official has done in either voting for or against a project to move forward, they can vote that elected leader out. Upon hearing concerns, she does plan to make a change to the proposal. And so one of the revisions that I intend to put forward to the current amendments is that we do require a limited review process by our zoning department.